What is up, guys? It is freaking field day 2020. It is Sunday morning. We're out here at Proud Lake State Recreation Area with a few guys from the club. We're operating N8SL. Uh, we got some solar panels set up, four different radios, generator. I think three of us are actually operating off of solar for the first time this year, so that's pretty awesome. I'll show you what I got set up, and uh, let's take a look around, have some fun. Stay tuned. But also, don't forget to hit that little thing at the bottom that says subscribe. Also hit the bell so you're notified when I make new videos. Thank you. So here we got Eric, K-A-D-R-S. You on six meters? Uh, 20. 20? Oh, you're not using that antenna, okay. No, I switched today. What antenna are you using right now? Link. That's the soda beams? Uh, yeah, soda beams. Okay. Hopper 4. Right on. What are you running, uh, rig? FT891 and uh, LD, LDG Z11. Oh, okay. Tuner. Let's take a look at what he's got going on here. It's a neat little setup. So he's got, I think that's a spider beams pole on the trailer hitch. But he's got the spider beam going up to the tippy top to that uh, soda beams. Those things work really well. It's a really neat antenna. I'm gonna have to look at one of those one of these days. Look at this. He doesn't even stake them in. He just has it right on the ground. And he's still getting out, so. Not uh, probably how I would deploy it. But hey, everybody's got their own thing, right? So as I said, the last time we were here, uh, I'll be using the DX Commander Expedition, and right as rain, there she is. She's been doing great. I don't have, I only have three elements on. I've got the 40, 20, and 10 on, because 17 isn't part of the uh, contest, not a contest. But uh, yeah, she's been doing great. I absolutely love this antenna. Stupid, stupid easy to set up. Uh, had a little bit of trouble yesterday. I actually brought out the DX Commander all-band vertical and uh, probably prematurely, I, I've been tuning it and it was resonant uh, at the park down the street from my house, but when I went to set it up yesterday, it was just a nightmare. I got here, I don't know, about 10.30 or so to set up and uh, got the antenna set up and the SWR was just all kinds of weird, so. Uh, but I don't even have the, the, the glue-lined heat shrink or anything on it, it was just electrical tape, so. Stuff might have happened, it was really humid, so things could have like slid out of place. So I took that down, put this one up uh, and it worked great. The bands weren't so hot yesterday on Saturday. Um, so I didn't really make too many contacts, but uh, still had fun, who cares? We're doing, uh, we're doing field day, man. That's, that's, what, that's what we live for. Wouldn't be field day in a parks on the air park if we didn't have our POTA flag flying proud. That's a little antenna for our access point so we can all uh, have our computers linked for N1MM. That's the software we're using. Pretty neat software, so. This is Lewis. He's inside his tent, his cage. He just picked up this BioNO uh, foldable solar panel. This thing's freaking awesome. 100 watt solar panel. I think it was about 200 bucks, he said. Uh, it's been performing really, really well. Uh, yesterday and today, uh, solar has just been really, really, really kicking butt. We, we both, this is our first time running solar uh, with with really anything and uh, we're really pleased. So I'll show some results a little bit later on that. But uh, yeah, it's it's kicking butt. Here's Lewis, N8LEK, with his 7300. Extreme close up! Extreme close up! <laughs> <laughs> I had to turn Vox off, you transmitted. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So uh, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Yeah. 15 meters has a good opening, so. Good. Better than yesterday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yesterday was kind of not fun. Yeah. It was still fun, but. But we got lots of sun. Yes. We got the solar on the video there, so. Yeah, yesterday was kind of uh, kind of a downer, still out here having fun. It was it was rainy in the morning, but the sun came out right around the time that uh, field day started, so. Yeah. We did not use uh, mains power at all. No. So, that's a neat little uh, solar setup you got. Tell, it, tell the kids, uh, tell the kids what we got going on here. Yeah, we're all bio and all right. The Oh yeah. Power battery. This is their. That's uh, bigger than mine. This is their 30 amp hour or no 30 amp solar controller. Yep. And uh, 
down. That's I, nice. I have two meters. I have, this is the load. So underneath here, you can see there's a uh, mm -hmm. uh, rig runner, right? Okay. So, so this is measuring how much is going out of the battery. Mm -hmm. And this is measuring what's going in. So You're only getting an amp in? Oh, well, your battery's well, topped, off. topped off. Jeez. Right? Yeah, so, look at that. So if this scrolls through, you'll see so far today, I use 3.7 amp hours. Yep. And I put in. Anytime now. That's what editing's and for. And we put five. in 5.3. Yeah. So for, you know, two amp hour plus. Yeah. Free electricity. Yeah. So very quiet. There's no noise. No. Yeah. That's awesome. It, it works great. Bio and I'll make good stuff. Yeah. Very good stuff. And this is the, this is the inside of the love shack. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. It's a nice tent. You, you got a fly problem though. Jeez. Look at that guy. Say bye to the kids. So let's check out what he's running. He's running, you guys might remember this Centena from such videos as my first field day or field day 2019. This is uh, this vertical for 40 meters that's made out of the, uh, the fiberglass um, poles, like the, the army, you know, the military style poles. And then it's like, I think it's, it's aluminum tubing. It's not like fence topping but it's, it's some type of aluminum tubing. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but, and then there's, I think, four counterpoise wires going out. And uh, this antenna has really been a workhorse for the club. It's usually, uh, usually like the CW guys are on this because it just, it gets out. Probably not as much as the DX Commander, we know that, but we, shh, we won't tell them. <laughs> no, absolutely terrific antenna, homebrew. Always love that. Um, so it, 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 it gets out, man. It is, it is definitely a workhorse. He's also got this. This is this is a really neat antenna. He doesn't have the uh, the whip on it right now, but this is a what the heck is this? I think it's an Alpha. Yeah, Alpha antenna. Whatever that is. Uh, I'm not sure the model, but all bands. I think it does one one sixty through six, like everything. So and on this super stupid heavy duty uh, tripod, not something I would want to throw in my backpack, but. Uh, really quick and easy to deploy. So he's got uh, those the, the the whip that like connects with the elastic tubing and stuff. Yes, we do have a generator out here, but that's basically only so we can power my crappy Windows computer. Yes, I broke down and bought a Windows computer, but it was an old one and it was used and it was fifty bucks. Because we have inverters, um, Lewis and I, and we were thinking about. Uh, just running everything off of solar, but I have a cheap, crappy Harbor Freight inverter, and uh, it's just, you plug in the bat the computer, and it's just all kinds of noise. He's got another one from Amazon. It was like 40 bucks. I bought one, but of course, I bought it on June 10th, and it's still not here. Uh, it's supposed to be here Wednesday, so it, it doesn't produce any RF, or a little bit, but uh, we, we didn't need it, because uh, we got the Jenny, so... Nice to have that. Nice to have different options for power. That's always a plus. But yeah, we've been killing it on the batteries and the solar, man. I'm, I'm super stoked. So I'll show, I'll show you my station in a bit. We're walking over here to uh, Mike, W8MSC, his uh, fortress of solitude away from everyone else. We're all over there. He's over here. He's like, screw you guys. Leave me alone. the W8 MSC in the wild. That's as much time as he likes to be on the camera. <laughs> I think he might be getting used to it by now. Probably not. So what's going on, man? Uh, I just copied the ARRL bullet. Oh, awesome. It's on uh, CW, so I was able to capture it. Got it going here in uh, FL Digi. Captured it to the text file, so we have it for our records. So, oh look, another 7300. That seems to be the radio uh, of, the, uh, of the year for field day, so. There's that little key here. That thing is freaking sweet. What is that? That is uh, American Morse Equipment Porta Paddle. What's in that green ammo box? That is a 10 amp hour battery and it keeps my cell phone charged. Crack yeah. that open. Let's see. Got the headway batteries and I got the battery management system. Oh, nice. I got myself the rig runner so I can uh, plug my devices into yep. it. Got built in USB so oh, that's cool. I can keep that's cell nice. phones topped off while out in the field. Nothing on the sides? You didn't put any uh, meters or nothing on it? No. No. 
That's okay. I'm late. I like meters and knobs and buttons. Of course, I am a knob, so. Not yet. No, <laughs> it's a it's a project, and it's. Battery boxes are a really fun project. Everyone should build one. And those headway cells, I love my bioannos, but building that battery with the headway cells was like really what what got me into into batteries and like learning about them and all that stuff. So um, definitely do that. Check out OH8STN if you haven't ever heard of him, if you live under a rock, because he's the one that really is the pioneer of that style of battery for ham radio. Oh, here's the here's the Mama Chapina. Hang on. What do we got here? Oh. This is a 40 amp hour prismatic lithium iron phosphate. Nice. I got my temporary meter on there so I can tell how much power I've used. Yep. I also keep extra stuff in here since the Is this what you're running your station off of? Yeah. So yeah, this is a... a little baby bio -eno. Yeah, this is for my QRP stuff. I got all odds and ends in here. Yeah. What kind of cells are those? What uh, what, what brand or whatever? Uh, Sinopoly. Mm, sure, if you can read that, yeah. eBay or something, or where'd you get them? Uh, Amazon. They're probably all gone now, because Will Prowse probably showed a video on them. That's how I found <laughs> out about them. That's the great thing and the bad thing about Will Prowse. You're, you you learn a lot about batteries, but then anytime he shows a good battery, they're like gone instantly. So, so here's Mike's antenna setup. He is also using the Soda Beams band hopper for thingamajig with the, that's a spider beams mast, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the trailer hitch mount. I need a truck just so I can do that. So I don't have to keep guying my mast in the ground. I don't really mind, but this is a really easy setup. And then here's what's powering that lithium iron phosphate battery we saw. MPPT charge controller. It's hooked up. And then something with a smiley face on it. That's always nice. And then, what is that, the Rich Solar? Or the Renogy, rather. Renogy. Renogy 100-watt solar panel. The solar is, uh, in, the, in the few months that we see sun in Michigan, solar's been kicking butt. Any last words for the kids? Get out into the parks and uh, get them on the air. That's right, baby. Get on the air. And now let's take a look at my station. You've seen the rest. Now see the best. They're all pretty much the same, though. So, first off, solar. Got me a 100 watt solar panel. This is from Rich Solar. Uh, highly, came highly recommended from Will Prowse. Uh, again, if you haven't seen his channel, check him out. He knows a crap ton about solar and lithium iron phosphate. So check out his YouTube channel if you want to learn about that stuff because he's pretty much the man. We've got our BioNO charge controller. Uh, everything's pretty topped up right now because I've been making this video and not playing radio. But doing absolutely fantastic with the solar. Running our 20 amp hour bioeno. Been kicking butt. And uh, much like Lewis, I've got two of these uh, watt meters. So let's see if we can see this. So here, this is the watt meter coming from the solar panel. And we can see I'm getting about an amp and a half right now. I've used 5.391 or not used, I've gained 5.3 amp hours from the solar panel. And here is the better meter. And we've used 3.86 amp hours. So we're getting more power than we're using. That's fantastic. So here's my setup. We've got, uh, got the power coming into our uh, ham radio workbench power distribution block. Love that thing. Our uh, old Windows 10 computer that, well, it's Windows. Brought out the boom mic because, you know, when you're transmitting for field day, you might as well be in comfort. This is a, a Shure Beta 58 microphone, just a vocal mic that I had lying around. And uh, the 7300 with our portable zero rails on here in case somebody trips and it falls, which would suck, but that'll protect her. So, yeah, a little cheap uh, $40 table from Walmart. That's when you know you're 40 years old, you get excited that you bought a portable table. <laughs> it only gets better, boys. Just a cheap uh, cheap pop-up tent, courtesy of my favorite store, Harbor Freight. Love it. So that's, uh, that's the setup. So 10 meters just popped up. It's actually my first time getting on 10 meters, but I don't have any 10 meter contacts with this DX Commander antenna yet. So let's go get some. This is Whiskey 
one Tango Juliet Lima QRZ. November eight Sierra Lima. November eight Sierra Lima one Delta Connecticut. Roger one Delta Connecticut copy four Alpha Mike India. Thank you for Mike India. Good luck QRZ. Boom. Put that in your log and smoke it. November 8, Sierra Lima. November 8, Sierra. November 8, Sierra Lima. NA Sugar Lima, 2 Echo, Western Mass. Whiskey Bravo 0, Tango, Sierra Romeo. Whiskey Bravo 0, Tango, Sierra Romeo. Copy 4 Alpha, Mike India. 4 Alpha, Mike India. 1 Echo, South Dakota. South Dakota on 10, I'll take that. Kilo Mike 0, Foxtrot. Kilo Mike 0, Foxtrot. Copy 4 Alpha, Mike India. Uh, copy 4 Alpha, I think it was uh, Mike India, Michigan, Kilo Mike Zero Foxtrot, 1 Delta, Sierra Delta. You are set Kilo Day from K1RK. November 8, Sierra Lima. November 8, Sierra Lima, thank you. Yeah, from 1 Delta, Echo Mike Alpha. Copy 1 Delta, Echo Mike Alpha, we are 4 Alpha, Mike India. November 8, Sugar Lima, 1 Delta, Eastern Mass. Copy 1 Delta Eastern Mass, we're 4 Alpha Mike India. 4 Alpha Michigan, thanks. So that's pretty awesome. Busted out a few 10 meter contacts on the DX Commander Expedition. I freaking just, I can't stress enough how much I love this antenna. So that's it, guys. 2020 field day is a wrap. We didn't do terrible. I think we got 500 and some odd points or contacts or something. I don't know. I'll put, the, I'll put a picture here. Uh, so, so you can see what we did. I got 120 contacts. Uh, wasn't really trying all that hard. It's really more, for me, field day is more about just being out in the camaraderie and, and all that kind of stuff because, well, I do field day every day, so who cares, right? Um, but had a lot of fun. I learned a few things. I learned that solar is awesome and that with my setup on a sunny day, uh, I can run all freaking day, 100 watts, no problem. Bio no battery kept up like a champ. Uh, the solar worked great. Um, I also learned that I packed way more crap than I needed to, so uh, last night when I got home, dumped about half my load uh, just because we didn't need it. We, I brought a power supply and my battery charger and things like that in case uh, we either didn't have sun or the solar panels wouldn't keep up with the batteries. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that was the big takeaway for this year. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching another episode of K&MRD Radio Stuff, 73.